Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. So finally, we're going to take a look at the Neo Geo Mini. It's only taken me two weeks to get this video done. Sorry about that. So if you're not familiar with this, this is the Neo Geo Mini. It is an arcade replica, so it plays arcade ROMs. It is celebrating the 40th anniversary of SNK. Um, it retails for about $110, and it was released, I think, around October 29th, or somewhere close by there. So yeah, it's taken me a little bit to get this done. So let's move on and unbox this sucker because I've been waiting a long time for this. So here we are with the Neo Geo Mini International. Now, I do want to point out, this is a Neo Geo Mini, not a Neo Geo Classic. So having said that, I really like the aesthetic that they've done on the box itself. I like this mixture of blue and black and magenta. I like it a lot. On the side, you got a picture of the console. On the back are all 40 of the games. All 40. That's a lot of games. Rated T. Blood, suggestive themes and violence. Blood? We'll see. All right, so enough about the outside of the box. Let's crack it open. So already I see peeking out here, it looks to be our console wrapped in some plastic. Oh, there we go. Wow, this thing is really small. What else do we have? I see the instructions and a mystery box. All right, not labeled for anything. What's in the mystery box? We have some stickers. I like stickers, I guess. And then a white USB to USB-C cable for power. So what you see before you is everything that comes in the box. Let's take a look at these stickers first. You got the old Neo Geo SNK sticker. Maybe that goes on the side of the console, not sure. Then it looks like we have a couple marquee stickers. Nice, you got Metal Slug 2, Real Bout Fatal Fury, Samurai Showdown 2, King of Fighters 97. I like this, that looks nice. Our other one looks to be King of the Monsters. I'm not sure if it's one or two. Probably two. I think this is two. So yeah, those would just go right, well, right on top of the, the marquee right there. I like it. That's a nice little inclusion. The instructions are so thick because it's in like 50 different languages. But anyway, what's in here? Just shows you the button layout, what each port does. You see here, there's a gamepad. Tells you to please purchase the gamepad separately. Okay, no problem. You got your on-off switch. Um, HDMI cable. You also have to purchase that separately. Um, I guess you would have to purchase the TV separately as well, but you know. Hopefully we all have TVs. Oh, and you see here, um, when supplying power from a power outlet, you have to use a commercially available USB compatible AC adapter, um, which is also, which needs to be purchased separately. So, out of the box, you can hook this up to your computer and uh, play it. Let's look at this little thing. So the screen is a pretty good size. I'm not really sure how big that is. The joystick feels pretty good. It's smooth. It is not gated. A, B, C, D. Kind of a weird orientation in my opinion. You also have select and start here. You have the SNK logo in the middle. Two stereo speakers in the front. On the side here we have a controller port and as well as the other side. This I believe is the one player it is. One player goes on the left, second player goes on the right. On the back, we have the power button. The HDMI output, which you can't use because it doesn't come with the cable. Headphone jack, that's handy. And the USB-C um, power input. On the bottom, you got all these nice little rubber feetsies, so when you're playing it, the system doesn't move. So I'm going to hook this up to my computer. We're going to take a look at the menu and the games and see how they play using the standard joystick and buttons. Okay, we're plugged in. Let's hit that button. The circle around the joystick lights up. I think that's that's really cool looking. And here we go. We have our menu. Let me cut these lights off. Zoom in so we can get a close look at the Neo Geo Mini. All right, so as you can see here, we have the list of games in the middle, a nice Neo Geo icon in the top left, and some options over here. I think this is, let's see, settings, help, copyright information. Go back down. Uh, there's no menu music which is kind of unfortunate. The background, I know it's kind of hard to see on camera. Um, it's just kind of a blue background with a, a bunch of square grid. Not great. This sound effect though, that is a sound effect they have used for a very long time on their games. So I do like that. Um, besides that though, this menu is, is very bare bones. Anyway, let's take a look at these options up here. Settings, I think, yes we do. We have a language option 
for, let's see, English, Dutch, French, Italian, um, Polish, Russian, maybe? Not sure. Anyway, um, we're going to stick with English. Sort. You can change it from default or recently played. That's not too bad. I like that idea. You can adjust the brightness. It does what it's supposed to. And the volume. Oh, it gets very, oop, very, very low. Oh, and very high. Um, I think we're going to stick to this right here. And you can return it to default settings. We're not going to do that. Next, we have the help option. Neo Geo Mini Official Website. Oh, are you going to give us a website? No, you're going to give us a QR code. Get your phones out. Scan the code. You can go to the Neo Geo Mini Official Website. And I assume, yes, QR code for the Facebook and the Twitter. Okay. Copyright information. It just says that this product is protected by copyrights. Any unauthorized distribution or copying of the software is um, against the law under GNU General Public License Version 3. At the bottom there it says start and select for settings, which does the same thing as the settings button at the top. Yeah, that's the same thing. So you have a settings option or you have the start and select option. Not sure why you do both. By the way, this screen, it's, it's hard to see on camera, but the screen is really bright. It is really nice, very detailed. I see everything very nice. I'm sitting about maybe two feet away from it right now. Um, but you have the game art, the type of game it is, this is an action game. Metal Slug is an action game. And four empty circles underneath to represent your save states. If we keep moving, let's see what other kinds of games we have here. All action. Many action games. Wait, what? Three? Isn't that a wrestling game? Three? That is a wrestling game. Wouldn't that be a fight? Oh, there's fighting. Okay. There we go. Fighting games. Lots of fighting games. Um, golf would be a sports so sports game sport game okay uh blazing star that is a shooter so shooting game or shooting shooting maybe shooter and a uh one puzzle game 40 games in all that is a lot of games so let's test out these controls i'm going to start a game of metal slug all right there's that intro that we all know or the sound quality coming out of this is really good. So Metal Slug, let's push start. Oh, you have an you have an option. What is the option here? Oh, okay, so that's nice that they give you some options. So you can do your difficulty level, heroes, and language option. That's cool. Let's get started. How to play. Don't need to know. Let's give it a shot. Let's check these controls. All right. That's loud. That's pretty loud. If I hit start and select here, Good. We go to the options where you can exit the game, create a save state, load a save state, and do the brightness and volume adjustments. Turn it down a little bit. All right, here we go. Firing. Oh, see, they are sweating. They're not bleeding. But anyway, the controls feel um, really good. They're responsive. Whoa, let's get away from that grenade. Um, the joystick doesn't feel bad at all. It's funny because uh, I actually think I like this joystick a lot better than the Data East one, but I, the Data East has a bat top joystick, I think that's what they're called, um, and I usually prefer those. This is rounded at the top. Not my favorite kind of joystick, but I actually like this, I think a little bit better because I can grip it better. So for a mini console, I think this is probably the way to go if you're doing arcade, the, the ball top or the round top. So far, um, yeah, this control's fine, but this is just, you know, a side-scrolling run-and-gun game. Let's give a fighting game a shot real quick. Let's exit out. So let's see here. Here we go. Samurai Showdown 2, one of my favorites. Once again, we have options, uh, level select, and mode. What is mode? USA, Japan, and Spain. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, we're going to exit and start a game. Where's my man? There he is. My man Ukyo. All right, Cham Cham. Let's fight some Cham Cham. All right, doing okay. Got the controls down already. Let's see how we do against Cham Cham. Green blood. Ooh, does she normally have green blood? Okay, so not too bad. The controls are actually pretty good. The buttons are, are nice and big. I don't think I would play like this seriously, though. Um, Because it is kind of cramped on here. It's, I'm, I don't know if I can show you. But my hands are covering, like, 
the whole thing. In terms of the controls, they are responsive, but I don't think I could play this for a long period of time. I want to see what those other options were real quick. Let's change this to Japan. You have to play in Japanese if you want blood. Hmm. So since the Neo Geo Mini doesn't come with any way to play this on the TV, I went out and bought the HDMI cable. Myself, this is not the one from SNK. I bought this from Amazon Basics, I think. It was like maybe six or seven dollars. And a controller. Let's take a look at the controller real quick. So the controller comes in this sleeve thing. The controller has its own instructions. Okay. I assume this is the controller itself wrapped up in all this plastic. This is as much plastic as the console was in. Okay. All right. Wow. All right. Well, already this is probably an improvement over the system itself. Look at the difference between the controls on the system and this controller. Let me bend this over a little bit. Already you can see this is probably going to be a little bit better than using the controls on the system. So this is weird. No directional pad. This is a pure joystick. Again, it is not gated. There are no clicks. You have A, B, C, D. These are colored in for some reason, not on the console itself. They are all gray. Uh, we have start and select. These don't feel too solid. And again, the other side, the USB-C port. So I should be able to plug this into the left side and play this. Okay, it's plugged in. Let's see. All right. Yes, we can. So I'm going to test this controller out while I'm outputting the gameplay to the TV. So let's go take a look at that. Yeah, so here's what we got when using the video out. And again, I'm using the controller to control all this. It's kind of weird uh, controlling a menu like this with an analog stick. I don't know. It just feels weird to me. Um, so let's check out our settings by hitting start and select now on the controller. We still have language, sort, screen is new. What's in the screen option? Okay, I think this is full screen, not full screen. I don't know what this is. It doesn't change anything here. So I think this means widescreen and then for three mode um, and then stretch for full screen or not. Image quality optimization offer on. What does that do? We'll figure it out. Okay, um, so let's go into another fighting game. King of Fighters 2002. Why not? Okay, let's see this. Oh, also on the mini itself, it just has a little Neo Geo logo on there. All right, so let's hit start. Team play, I guess. There's Kyo. So let's get into these options real quick. Screen. Let's do this and see what that does. Okay, that does put it in 4-3 mode. No problem. Okay, what if we do this option? Am I missing something? I'm not really sure. I mean, if anything, I get this. I get widescreen and then 4-3 mode. I don't understand what this means. I'm confused about this and it's not clear. Hold on one second. This doesn't say anything at all about what that option is. So we're going to leave it. Let's pick our people real quick before we run out of time. Where is he? Where's K? There he is up there. We'll do K. I like Rio and I like Robert. Okay. So from here, let's go to the options and see what this quality optimization is. We'll turn that on. Oh, that does help. Before it was really pixely and now it's, uh, it's a little bit sharper. No filter. So yeah, I think it does look better with that image optimization. All right, so let's go. The jumping, I'm trying to jump towards it. I end up jumping straight up because of where my, um, where my, my hand goes. I'm pulling off special moves okay though. It looks kind of not dark. What's uh, grimy? Um, it kind of has a grimy feel, but I'm not sure if that's just because, you know, SNK games are kind of dark and, and not dirty, but kind of grimy themselves. Ooh, wow, okay, we did do a special move. I would prefer an actual direction pad besides using this stick. Um, it, it's big and it is concave. So I don't feel my, my thumb slipping out of it at all. It feels like I could probably get used to it with some time. It's, it's not the worst feeling thing in the world. The buttons do feel kind of weird. It's hard for me to say the controls are bad when I'm winning fights and everybody knows how good I am at fighting games. So 
yeah, I'm able to do these special moves real easy. So there may be something to this controller. I mean, it's way better than what's on the system itself. Um, the game is playable. My hands don't hurt. And I'm pulling off these special moves. Let's make a save. Okay, so when you make a save, say it gives you a screenshot of where you're at in the game. That's pretty good. I like that. Alright, so that's going to wrap up my first look with the Neo Geo Mini. Overall first impressions. Well, I had fun with it. If you look at the price point, the system itself is $110, but what I just did didn't cost $110. It was actually closer to $150 when you include the controller and the HDMI cable. So that's a lot of money for what is to be considered a mini system. But for the system itself, those controls included, that's not going to work. Um, not for long long play sessions and for serious gaming you can it, you'll get by with some of the fighting games and things like that you'll be able to win some matches but you won't be able to play seriously just it's, it's kind of the same complaint i had with the data east classic you'll have fun with the games but eventually i mean for someone like me average size hands but with these controls on the system itself i mean not comfortable so is the system worth 150 dollars alone no I don't think any mini system should be worth that much. That is over twice as much as the NES Classic and about twice as much as the SNES Classic. But what makes this system is this right here and the HDMI cable. It is definitely more worth it um, if you have hopefully two of these and if you are a huge fighting game fan. When you do the games breakdown you have six metal slugs and five King of Fighters games. That's 11 games out of 40. So that's a quarter of the games for two game series. There is a variety overall, but you just used up a lot of your games on two game series. Overall, there's 17 fighting games on this system, which is almost half. Now, I'm a huge SNK fan. I love their fighting games, but it would still be hard for me to justify 150. No, it would have to be 100, almost $180 because you would need that second controller if you really want to have fun with your friends. Um, and honestly, going into this, I didn't think I was going to like this. I thought this was going to bother me a lot, but it honestly, it did not bother me as much as I thought. I got used to it. Um, after playing for a little bit, it wasn't that bad. And also, I didn't own the original Neo Geo, which had um, the, the clicky controllers, because that cost way too much. If you're a fan of SNK games, and you have a few friends who are hardcore fighting game fans, especially hardcore SNK fighting game fans, yeah, this is good. You can play it on the big screen, you can use that filter, make it look a lot nicer. But for the system itself, I don't think I would recommend it to everybody for $110. It's a fun show-off piece, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Something else, when you look at this, does this make you think Neo Geo Arcade? Because it doesn't to me. I don't remember going through any arcades and seeing this in the arcade. What I saw was this. I remember this. This color scheme doesn't fit at all. Not only does the color scheme not fit, this is more like a bar top arcade not a full-fledged arcade machine so this doesn't scream snk to me at all this screams um, maybe modern modern arcade but this doesn't make me think of the old snk arcade games so again it's hard to recommend it for that price point i wish i could um, but that's expensive that's a lot of money to be dishing out on something that by itself you wouldn't get as much enjoyment if you had paid the extra money for the cable and i think snk is asking for ten dollars or fifteen dollars for the cable 25 for the controller so yeah you're, you're talking an extra 40 150 dollars for the best experience you can get with this you can get a lot of stuff for 150 dollars actually this this black friday you can get a ps4 for 200 dollars with spider-man so for a good time with this you can get a ps4 I did have fun with it. So let me let me emphasize that. I did have a lot of fun playing those games. I enjoyed them. They looked really good. I like the SNK style. So although I don't have a problem with this, um, I did find out yesterday, just yesterday, that there's an adapter, I can't remember what it's called, 
um, that will allow you to use PS3 and PS4 controllers on the Neo Geo Mini. So if one of your main complaints with this system is the controls, there is a way around that. I don't know much about the adapter. I think it just released not too long ago. Um, if I can get my hands on one, I will do a demonstration with it and see if that's any better than using the controller that you buy extra. But anyway, first impressions, I do like the system. I do think it is very overpriced. I'd be more happy with this at 80 with a controller included. The way it is now with the current controls, no extra, no out, no TV output. Now that I'm thinking about that, I would knock it down even further. I would say put this at 60, half price, since you can't output the TV and you have to deal with the arcade controls, which I didn't, I didn't really care for at all. So once again, thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me some comments if you have one of these. How do you like it? How do you feel about it now after watching the video? I'd really like to know. Thank you again, and I will see you next time.